Hello everybody, welcome back. Yes, I'm gonna read a post. This one is from UK Football Cards. And before I start, this is by no means in any way trying to ridicule what has happened to this person because it's an outrageous act if it is indeed a scam. And nobody in the hobby should be scammed. And this relates to any kind of sale that you could have on Facebook if an item is being posted so not necessarily just a sports card could be a pokemon card it could be a funko pop if that's what you're into it could be anything we're going to read the post we're going to try and gather the information and intel and find out what has actually happened to this person then we're going to look at what some of the experts say and all along put together a bit of a guide on how to stay safe and some top tips and hints which might help you. Just before we do read the post, uh, just to let you know I'm drinking a Mad Goose Hail L, so we will see how that goes. I've been buying cards for a few years now and bought off plenty of groups, no problem. Please tell me I'm not wrong for this and I've just been scammed. Admins, please check him out. I'm absolutely fuming. And as we go into it, we will find out why. So he's looking at a, an Alan Shearer autograph card here. I think it's impeccable. He's obviously asked this fella how much he wants for it. 150 shipped. It's important to note that he has said that it's shipped. You got pictures. Yes, bro. Now, that rings alarm bells to me anyway, being of an older generation. Bro is um, yeah, just that terminology. And then he has to actually ask him for him to send them. He doesn't just send them across. He's put uh, double question marks. I don't know what the, the kind of timing is on that. But he's getting a little bit impatient. This scammer wants his money, if indeed he is a scammer. Okay, so he's come back they've done a little check here obviously checked ebay is this yours on ebay which is pretty you know it's pretty good um detective work to start off with yes that my friend he helped me post it on ebay because i don't have an ebay account so what we're looking at here already is we've got some minor illiteracy and he is selling it on behalf of a friend so we've got another red flag and he helped me post it on ebay because i don't have an ebay account now, if you're buying trading cards nowadays, most people have an eBay account, but you know, that's that's not necessarily a, a deal breaker if they don't. Okay, and then we've got another question mark. I want the card, but I can't get my head round. You have someone else selling the card for you who, I can't read that because it's, it's blocked, who loads other high-end cards. So he, he is still delving in, which is good. Okay, and then he comes back. Let's just make this deal work, bro. Just be free. And tell me your best offer on it okay and then he asked for vouchers again that is very important if you can get them yes what do you live uk and you same would you go any lower on it fair enough bit of bargaining going on be free and tell me your offer on it she's a bit random i don't maybe it's just me again being really old but i've never heard the terminology be free and ask an offer now that looks like 100 pounds transferred right now straight in so this potential scammer has he's got some balls 110 okay 110 deal what's your address paypal friends and family yeah can do another flag okay so yeah not good don't do friends and family just do goods and services and it, it's, it's going to be what a might something like three percent on that you're talking three or four pounds on spending and covering yourself for 100 pounds you've got to do goods and services there is no no real reason not to do it on here if there is let me know we've got another flag so he's trying to pay and it's saying that the payment or the account is in the usa so first he's already lied he said he's in the uk he's not in the uk and then some bollocks yeah that's my business paypal you can send pound and dollars yes let me know when you send okay so we've got a payment okay let me know when it's sent cheers still interested in buying more bro god he is really trying to get some more money i am yeah but we'll wait for this to come first what else you got fair enough we can make the deal work at once bro i will stick with this deal for now okay bro i will let you know when i will ship bro just too many bros several days later have you posted i'm going today bro bro again okay thanks yeah on the road now bro i will let you know when i am there uh okay just send me a pic when you sent it okay bro still on tuesday i'm at the post office now bro and uh yeah he didn't get a reply that means he's been standing in the post office for a while if he is actually in fact in the post office and there he is sending a picture of the parcel with no address 
that's on it. It might be on the other side. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Don't understand why it would be, but I want to send it now, bro. They just told me that the shipping fee have increased, bro. So you have to send 10 to the post office PayPal now, bro, so I can ship it out right now. What the fuck is that all about? Send the, oh, this might be some kind of American thing. Um, see, it's not something in the UK. You would never send money to post office PayPal. What the fuck is that? Uh, and it comes back. Obviously, he's not very happy about this. We agreed on the price all through and there was no talk of paying extra. Nope, there wasn't. I know, bro. The shipping fee just increased that why, bro. So I will send you the post office PayPal now, bro. <laughs> It's been bro wrong. Still at the post office, bro, waiting for the reply. He's been there for fucking ages. Then we get the response. Listen, we made a deal in not paying any more money out. All deals on the group are final. So if you can't ship it out, then please refund me my money back for it. There's no way, unfortunately, that is going to happen. I don't have any money on me now, bro. I would have paid. So he's saying he would have paid. Could have just transferred it from the PayPal that he had. I know we made a deal, but the shipping fee, uh, it can't see what that's something, bro. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I... I think this deal has become more and more complicated. I just transferred you £110 and you say you have no money. I'm not happy with how this has turned out. So if you can't ship it out, then I want my money back. I know you send me the £110, bro. I use the money to repair my car, bro. So just send the 10 so I can ship now, bro. No, nah, man, this is a mess about now. You've made deal once, I sent you the money. I don't get why you didn't anticipate this. You either sort out the shipping or pay me the money back. I can't believe you're doing this to me. I, it's pretty outrageous, to be fair. Don't say like this, bro, putting the guilt trip on. If I have any money on me, I would have pay, bro. I just want to send the card to you today. That why, bro? I don't get how you didn't know it would cost to ship out. You can't make a deal if you didn't know that. What country are you in? The shipping fee just increased. That why? Jeez. But what country are you shipping from? <laughs> the great country of liverpool so it's a tenant to ship from liverpool when i've sent cards all over the uk for a few quid something isn't right something wasn't quite right at the beginning of this they just told me it just increased bro i am still at the post office i'll give you the post office paypal now yeah and it's clearly he's in the time at the moment no post office is open at this time in the uk pal one is open bro What's the name of the post office so I can check on Google? My phone is very low, bro. No time for that. Should I give you the post office PayPal? You've done me over, haven't you? It's finally cottoned on. Just tell me the post office and I'll sort it. What's the address? Okay. And then he has just basically taken a post office of Google Maps. It says it's closed at six. Why don't we just cut the shit and stop lying to me now? You've done me over, haven't you? My friend is working there. Oh god, more stories. My friend is working there, so he want to help me. So should I send the post office PayPal now? He's still pushing this post office PayPal. Because I, my wife, is call me. I want to get back home now, bro. He's been in there fucking hours. If at all hours, he's not really been in there hours. Listen, this deal is over now. You fucked me over. I'm reporting you to the group. You have not done this deal right. He's not. What an absolute shit show. There is a lot in those messages to untangle, but the main key point from that is that there was a lot of flags so andy has come to the facebook group i'm not sure if he saw this card in there maybe he did and there are a lot of comments i'm not sure why there's laughing faces on this unfortunately andy has been done over here big time and it is semi-comical some of the stuff that that guy was coming out with but still okay gary um how many i don't know how many zeros that is in there i can't quite read is that 100 million uh, it might be I can't quite see how many zeros are there. Okay, so this is this is obviously going to help Andy out immensely. Add your pants down. Future reference, post offices don't have PayPal. Contact your bank. You might be able to do a charge back. Uh, and that's the thing about good services with friends and family and different, and, it, and especially when it is over different countries as well. Don't think friends and family is going to refund him the money, but fingers crossed they do. So Andy, in the process of that now, I think I'm getting it back. Well, that's good. You should do, buddy. We're not all like the individual you have dealt with. I can't believe I've been so stupid, though. I've never done anything like that. It happens to the best of us, trust me. It's I've happened to me a couple of times. And you, sometimes you just let your guard down. And then go, it happens to the best of us, dude. Don't sweat it, Mark. Jesus, so many red flags. Lots of thumbs there. There are, but Mark, help, help him out. Help him out. What were they? Help 
community out what were the red flags and that's what we're doing here some tough love but seriously you've only have yourself to blame a million red flags even before you sent the money I cannot believe you actually did this amy is yeah i mean right this this is a hard one this is and this is what i'm talking about this because it is a great example the use of bro in these messages hurt me a little i'll only send friends and family with a purchase of 20 pounds and under the exact reason can shit out 20 quid 110 however is a different ball game never worth it buddy i would have also messaged the ebay seller to ask if it's them on the messenger or not that's a very good point there so we have got a top tip so many red flags from the very beginning you only have yourself to blame for this one i'm afraid yeah what we've already gathered that why friends and family such a huge, huge, big red flag for stars. Yeah, feel bad for you, mate. You've been taught a harsh lesson there. Bro, 110 gone for the sake of three pounds goods and services. That's right. That's the biggest one, I think. Never friends and family unless you know them or comfortable to take the L. Uh, so yeah, there, you know, there is there is at certain points, like the other guy said at 20 pounds, you might take the L. But friends and family is friends and family for a reason, because you are paying friends or family. It is all my fault. Maybe I was a bit skeptical. It was okay. Should have known better. I know that just feel shite for myself. I let this happen. Andy, don't feel shite. Like I said, to the best of us, you can do as much due diligence in the world. There could just be one dodgy thing and that's it. But you've learnt the lesson and that's what we're learning now. I have a Shira Auto for sale along with other Newcastle cards if you're interested. <laughs> Are you stuck in the post office too, Mike? uh well yeah and he ends with bro so there we go that's what we're going to end on it was a tough lesson for andy but loads and loads of pointers and tips there and what i'm going to do or hopefully what i've done is listed those points throughout the video and now we've got our final checklist of what you can do when you're offered something for sale off of uh, an e-commerce site off platform that you can do those checks and that due diligence hopefully make sure that you don't get scammed in the future i've just realized that i've not really drunk much beer throughout this so i'm going to sit back relax and maybe edit this thing so that it's not 25 minutes long if you enjoyed the video why not hit the like button and if you're enjoying the channel then why not hit the subscribe button and i'll see you very soon